simply Gordon here. So when I decided to get back into making YouTube videos again, the Mac Studio was a no-brainer. But Apple definitely tried to smack me in the back of the head with their Apple tax when I wanted one terabyte of storage and saw it drove up the cost of my Mac Studio by 200 bucks. What? As a part-time creator, spending 200 bucks on internal storage didn't seem like the best solution for me. So I ended up looking for some mobile options. And what I found at 239 bucks is two terabytes of storage by Lacey. Bonus, hey, I have a tip for you guys, so stay tuned to the end. Also, 90% of you are not subscribed. Come on, y'all. So inside the box of the Lacey, you'll get the drive itself and the USB-C cable. You'll also find a redemption code for one month of Adobe Creative Cloud for free. Lacey does say that this drive reads up to 1000 megabits, and we're gonna test that out here in just a minute. The drive itself is extremely compact, and it also comes in a very sleek and small case. It's barely bigger than a wallet. This Lacey drive retails for 239 at your local Apple store. So think about that, 200 bucks for more internal storage or 239 for two terabytes of storage that you have flexibility on how to use. Show me the money. Think I'm gonna go with the extra 40 bucks. With this drive's 1,000 megabytes of read and write, it's perfect for us Final Cut Pro users. So let's test it out. So as we have here, we're gonna go into here and go to select drive, make sure that it's drive A. Once we do that, we're gonna go ahead and test that speed out. Let's see what that write gives us. Boom, we got that right there. Now let's go ahead and test out that read. Okay, so right away we see that the drive's not necessarily hitting its advertised speeds, but that's okay. 930 megabits is still pretty good. 790 megabits or 800 megabits, still pretty good. I think I can live with that. So as you can see, this drive is the perfect pairing for someone who wants the power and speed of an SSD, but wants the portability of an external hard drive. Now, the drive doesn't feel cheap at all. It does have a fully aluminum body, and it's beautifully designed, if you ask me. Very, very well done, Lacey. Um, time for that bonus. This drive is compatible with both iPad, Mac, and PC. Now, Lacey, by default, has formatted the drive to the XFAT format for universal compatibility reasons, so I would suggest jumping into Disk Utility, reformatting the drive into the APFS format. This is proprietary to Apple computers, but is definitely recommended when you're running an SSD. And for my curators out there, yes, you can actually run your entire Final Cut Pro library off of this drive. So what I've done is actually moved all of my Final Cut libraries onto the drive. That way I have the mobility to be able to go from one computer to the next and work on a project. Also, this allows me to transfer those really large video files over to the iPad version of Final Cut Pro so I can go ahead and make some quick edits and then transfer it back over to my Mac. Now, would I recommend this drive? That's a hell yeah. Apple's charging you 200 bucks for super fast solid state storage, but for 239 bucks, you can get two terabytes of that storage and be mobile. That's a big bonus for a part-time creator like me. I mean, that's a big bonus for any creator when you think about it. <laughs> Simply Gordon here. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. And remember, a smile can make someone else's day. Peace.